Cindy and I are watching the events unfolding in Japan and it's a tragedy beyond anything that we can comprehend. I mean, today I was watching a young girl in a lineup waiting to get fresh water. She hasn't had water in more than 24 hours and I went to a car wash to wash my vehicle. I mean, it is absolutely incomprehensible at the hardship that people are facing. And out of all this, even as things go from bad to worse now with multiple nuclear reactor failures, facing a possibility of a meltdown, radiation leaks there's a volcano that's erupted can anything more go wrong but there is a very valuable lesson in this for all of us in North America not to do with the buildings and surviving a tsunami I was watching people for blocks lined up at a grocery store waiting in turn not moving out of their position waiting for food and water with an unbelievable politeness I mean I think to myself that in North America when the anything happens it doesn't matter if it's a tornado or a hurricane or just a shortage. People are antsy, they're pushy. We, we're gun happy. We pull out guns, there's all sorts of violence. Take a look at what happened in New Orleans when that place was flooded. People were being shot, there were uh, rapes. Uh, if, if you came to the bridge, I think it was to Mississippi or wherever, well, you better head the other way because it was being guarded. I mean, you're not coming over here to get our stuff. It is an absolute disgrace the way we are to each other. And it starts in Parliament. You take a look at what's happening in governments like in Wisconsin, between the Republicans and Democrats, or here in Canada, in Ottawa, the Liberals, Conservatives, NDP, they're like bad kids. And that's the example they're setting. So when they say they want to see bullying, bullying at, ended, and why is all this bullying happening? It's because of video games. It's because of things kids see on TV. Perhaps it is something they see on TV. Politics and politicians. We got to take a notice of Japan, and we got to bring that kind of civility back into our own society, back into our own lives. Learn about what it means to be polite, courteous. Learn about manners and courtesy. That's the way I see it. Everyone 